Let's have a look at Music B for Windows today. Music B is a jukebox and music management program for Windows. With it, you can organize all your own music. You can also sync to your smartphone with it, including your music and your playlists, videos, and podcasts. It's got a lot of features, support, and various add-ons and skins. You can download Music B from this website, and I'll have a link in the description below. It is completely free and does not have a paid version of it or subscription. Simply click download now and install. You can download the standard installer version, but I like to use the portable version. It allows me to keep everything in Music B in one folder. It lets me structure my music library much more easily. And it also makes it easy to move my entire library should I need to reinstall Windows or just want to use my Music B on another device. There's also a Windows Store version that you can install. Here's what my music folder looks like. I have a library with just my music files. Music B itself, again the portable version, which contains all the Music B files. Upon opening up Music B for the first time, you're going to select your language and it will ask you where your music is located. My music is in my music folder under library. And then we'll say scan now. You can also import artwork from iTunes and Windows Media Library. I'll choose scan now and it will add my files to the player. For demonstration purposes, I only have just a few songs in my library for this video. But as you can see, we have thumbnails here. We have our library organized by artists and the list of all their songs. And we can choose to play a song. Now, of course, you can't hear it, but we'll have our music playing down here with controls for seeking back, pausing, playing, and fast forward. We have volume controls here. We can rate our song and look at information as well as the duration. If we click it, we can change how the duration looks for the song. This button here allows us to bring up the equalizer in DSP settings. As you can see, there's various EQ settings. Here we can do repeat and shuffle as well as a wave bar here. Now, Music B is completely customizable, and if you don't like how things look, you can change practically everything about this player. And it's done by using panels. Everything here is a panel, which you can modify. For example, in this panel, we can display album or by artist. We can view by genre. We could change the thumbnails to large and so forth. We can hide the header menu. And that's just with this one panel. What about over here? In this panel, we can do upcoming tracks. We can do we can show or hide track details or album and track or yeah, album and track, or the default. Here we have more information with the thumbnail and the track artist, information about the file. And if we had a whole bunch of songs here and we needed to quickly go through to our music, we can click these letters to navigate our songs. We have tabs up here for now playing. So when we're playing a song, we have playlists. You can close these if you don't want to look at them as well. So just this podcast. All your podcasts will be will be displayed here. You can close this. I'll go back to music and you can add a tab and go anywhere you want to go in the player. For example, if I wanted to go to radio, we have internet radio. So very nice player. Lots of features, very customizable, 
Now let's take a look at adding music to our library. What I'll do is change this look so that we see our tracks. I'm going to right click and hit tracks and now we see a list of all of our songs. Then I'm going to come over here and choose left sidebar. And I'm going to show panel. Now I can see my browser, I can see my playlist, services and more. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two songs that I have on my desktop. Highlight them and drag them into my player. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click here so we can choose to display fields. And what I'm looking for is the location or path. So I see path here. I'm going to hit that. And now we see the path here in our fields. And I'm going to click on that so we can easily see what songs are in our library and what songs are not on our desktop. This song isn't on our desktop, so I'll delete that because I know it doesn't exist. But for these two songs, we have them on our desktop, but we want to add them to our library. To add a song to your library, what you want to do is select a song and you can right click and you can send them to the inbox if you want. This is just a way to store songs that are not in your library that you might want to add in the future. Or you can go up here to the menu, do tools and organize files. And this window will pop up. Here, what you can do is tell Music B where you want to send these files. So I'm going to select that they be sent to my music folder in my library. And then we have a naming template, how we want to organize our songs, our files. I typically do this where I have my music library followed by the artist, album, and title. But since this is just being done for tutorial purposes and the way I have my library set up with just the songs, I will simply have them labeled with just the title of the file. And then we select the files that we want to send to our library. So we're gonna, they're going to go from the desktop to my libraries folder. We say add to library and hit reorganize. And now notice the path has changed. These songs have now been added to my music library. So that's a way of organizing music that you manually add to music. What I recommend you do is when you're adding music, add them to the inbox so that you know that they're not in your library and you can easily identify them. And then you'd be able to again do the organizing files by selecting everything that you have in your inbox and organizing them. Now let's look at creating playlists. Under playlists, you have Playlist Explorer, where you can view your songs and, and all your other playlists that you have, such as recently added, top 25, and so forth. If you right click playlists and go to new, you can create a regular playlist, an auto playlist, or a new playlist mixer. I'll create a normal playlist and I'll call it chill out. You can choose the default display mode, so you can organize the playlist by album, album and tracks, and so forth. I'll use the default view, hit OK. Now I'll go back to my music, and I will select, let me organize this by artist, and I'm going to select these sounds from the ground songs, and add them to my chill out. Now we have a playlist. And of course, you can organize this how, however you want. You can organize these fields. And if you organize the fields on the main music tab, such as this, eventually all of your playlists will be organized with the same field layout. We'll go back to chill out. And you'll notice that we have the thumbnail for our songs. We can Go back to settings where we can rename the playlist, add description, lock, edit, 
by adding playlists to it, by adding more songs to the playlist, and so forth. We can choose sorting options as well. Now let's create a smart playlist. We can right click, say, new auto playlist. And I'm going to create a playlist for all my smooth jazz songs. So I call this playlist smooth jazz. And we're going to select the source for our music. In this case, we're going to select our music library. And, and now we have our matching parameters. So I'm going to look for all songs that have a genre of, and notice how we can choose is, is not, is any of, contains. So I'm going to say, select a genre that is smooth jazz. And we're not going to set a limit. We're not going to do shuffle, but we could if we wanted to. And select it by however we want. Track, artist, album, so forth. And now hit save. And we have these songs added to our auto playlist. Let's look at editing panels. If we go to the main menu and go to view, arrange panels, it brings up a window where you can organize pretty much every area of the music B interface such as the header bar, the top panel, which is up here, the sidebar, the left sidebar, main panel area, which is this, as well as the bottom panel and so forth. And you have these available el elements that you can place in their supporting panels, which you can identify by looking at this red bar. So for example, if we wanted the album cover, in say the left sidebar, we can do that and hit apply, and we see album cover here. Or in the main panel, or in the right main panel, let me bring it back, and so forth. We'll take that out. The AZ jumper, which is this bar here. If you don't want it, don't want it. You can take that off. Files. I'm not going to take that off. And then this left main panel, which is here. If you don't want to see thumbnails, you can do that. And now you don't have that. What I like to use is the column browser. And I'll place that here. Or just check it. And hit apply and then what happens is it brings up this browser here where you organize by genre artist album and if you go to panel settings you can go into even more detail about how this looks for example if you wanted a vertical side by side you could do that if you Want it vertical stacked? You can do that. You can hide for playlists. You can change the font. You can choose how it's how the tracks are displayed with thumbnails. And so here you can modify the right sidebar by choosing the layout and so forth with thumbnails. You can go into even more detail so there there's so much customization that you can do with these panels it's pretty impressive when you're done with the way you like your panel set up you can hit apply save and you're good to go when playing music you also have the ability to change the view of the player there are various views such as the mini player the compact player and you can even go into theater mode Let's look at the mini player. It brings up a miniature version of Music B that you can place on your desktop or on your second monitor with the thumbnail and basic controls. If you click this button, it brings up your playlist. You can get out of this by clicking on the box at the top 
and it goes back to normal. Here is what the compact player looks like, as you can see, and this is resizable, so you can change it if I can move my mouse correctly, and so forth. Again, restoring it back to normal. You also have theater mode. When you click on that, it gives you a nice player, big screen player with thumbnail and some controls. You can get out of this by going to view and clicking on that theater mode again. You can also use the visualizer. And there are various visualizers for Music B. If you go to visualizer, you can see. So we'll get out, get out of that. So pretty standard, different views and different visualizers that you have available to Music B. Another way that you can change the look of Music B is by changing the skin. If you go to view skins, Music B comes by default with quite a few different skins that you can choose from. For example, we can go to this one, Sky Blue, and it will restart the player. Here's what that looks like. Here is the gray slim. Many of these themes uh, skins have different splash screens as well. Here's a darker theme. And my favorite is the Dark Metro, Midnight Metro. So as you can see, very, very nice. And you can also download many more skins available on the Music B website. If you like how your panels look if you like the layout of your music be set up what you can do is go to edit and well first you can go to edit and save all your settings if you want by doing save settings snapshot and this will save all the settings that you have available that you've modified in music be but if you go to view import export you can export your panel setup that way you never lose your changes that you've made to all your panels. In fact, I have a panel set up that I'm going to import to change the way this looks. Here on my desktop or my music folder, I have exported the panels layout that I use on my main system. And I'm going to import that here by going to view, import, and we'll go to my music folder, panels layout, it will restart and it will have not only my skin that I like to use but also my layout. In this case it's pretty similar to what I just had set up but we now have information about my queue and my track information for my play, for my songs that I'm playing as well as bringing up the menu at the top here, which I prefer. Other features of MusicB includes internet radio, for example. If you search for, say, electronic, you can bring up all kinds of different radio stations. If I search for smooth jazz, then we'll bring up all of these radio stations for smooth jazz. So for example, if I wanted to listen to this, it will load up and start playing. You can also add a station by going to new station and typing in a URL. I have this smooth jazz radio station. And I'll give it a name or it's already filled out for us. That's interesting. Before I could even type it, I already got the information about this, the radio station. So we'll hit save. And when you click it, we can start listening to it. So that's a way of, of listening to internet radio. You also have podcasts. And you can add podcasts as well. You have advanced tag ed editing. So if you right click and edit a song, you can view all the tag information. This is where I think Music B really excels in. 
you can modify all the tags, all the sorting options, artwork. You can add lyrics to a song, settings. You can adjust the audio for a song, set equalizer, choose the start time. You can inspect the tag, rename, and auto tagging. So Music Beat supports auto tagging. And what will happen is it will load up information about a song. Like if you're missing album or artwork, you can go ahead and auto tag that. There's so many ways that you can auto tag and modify a track. So these are all your tagging tools, your artwork. You can download album art. And by going to your preferences, you have even more tagging options under tag one and tag two. Another feature that I like about Music B is the built-in music converter. If you go to right click and send to, you can send to file format converter or file converter or tools convert formats. Here you can set the location and choose the format. Now, by default, you have FLAC, MP3, WMA, AIFF, and WAVE. But in upcoming videos, I will show you how to add additional encoders. You can also choose the quality and rather to replace the song that you're converting with the new format or make a new copy of the song. You can also choose to add the converted song to your inbox as well as permanently adjusting the volume. And lastly, Music B does support syncing to smartphone devices. Now I've used it with Android. I believe it works with iPhone as well, but I'm not so sure. But yes, you can sync your smartphone, your Android smartphone with Music B. And in the upcoming videos, I'm going to actually be doing a video on that so you can see exactly how that works. So that's really it for this video. I just wanted to do an overview of Music B. In the next coming videos, I'm going to be doing a whole series on Music B where I go into more detail about some of the main features of the program since there's a lot going on with this program that I want to do tutorials on. So be looking out for that.